In today's video from Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2023, Lulzbot has a new machine. It's running Clipper and it's Core XZ based. Chatting with Ellie from Coco Press about updates to their chocolate 3D printer along with kit availability. And lastly, if you're looking for a multi-material unit that's cheaper and faster than the AMS for your Bamboo Lab machine, we're gonna be chatting with Bill from 3D Chameleon. But before we get started, shout out to Fabrico for sponsoring this year's Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest coverage. If you're looking for printer parts, kits, or accessories, be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Hello, we're at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2023. We have Lulzbot here, Hi and there. they have a printer you may have seen before, along with something new. So I'm going to let them explain uh, what we have. So what, what are we looking yeah. at here? So this is one of our print farm machines. We use it in a bank in our uh, print farm in order to print out parts for our own unit. So um, it's very specific to our print farm itself. As you can see, it's Core XY to use a little bit faster um, print speeds, input shaper for smaller or more detailed parts. But you'll notice the print size in the Z isn't all that big because our prints aren't all that big. We designed it very specific to what we need in the print farm. It's only got about 110 millimeters of Z height, but our his print is only about 95 millimeters. So this is basically the internal machine you're using for production, yes. right? Yep. Okay. We're testing out a bunch of features. We'll have a larger one for production in the future, but we're just testing out and making sure that our own unit supplies for what we need it to do. So, and part of those parts that we print out can be found on our Mini 3. So this so, is the new version of the Lulzbot yep, Mini. Yep, it's very similar to the Mini 2, except pretty much redesigning every single aspect of it. So the Mini 2 used to have a sheet metal piece down here that was bent and welded in order to supply the Y-axis with structure. Yeah. We went away from that because anytime you bend sheet metal, you're not going to be nearly as precise as a machined surface. So, so this is now a fully machined Yep, yep, that's a machined Y-axis to make sure that all our parts are coming out straight and they're not twisting as the Y-axis moves around. So I'm seeing belts across, this is Core XZ, right? Correct, yep, we went away from the Cartesian um, X motion, so going to Core XZ or Z, it's easier to manufacture and it's easier to work on. Um, so our Mini 2 was very tough to take apart and service if you ever needed to do anything, and that was one of the big features that we wanted to recreate and redesign a little bit better. Um, it's running a CAN bus board, so we get rid of a IGIS cable chain because that introduces a lot of weight and just makes it difficult to assemble pieces one at a time. Um, going to the Big Tree Tech EBB36 and Amanta um, M5P controller. So we're running Clipper on it with Ethernet or Wi-Fi capabilities. Clipper screen on it for that interface. And yeah. It's, now, will you be able to enclose this machine? Will there be an optional enclosure or anything there, like that? There is an enclosure in the works. Um, okay. We didn't bring it here because it's not quite polished enough for the users to look okay. at it and be comfortable. So. And, and you are still feeding it the fat 3 mil, but yep. 1.75 will be an option, Correct. right? Correct. Yep. All of our tool heads have the option of 285 or 175. Using a Bontech um, Ace combination, stock comes in 175, but we worked with them to get a 25 or a 285 version for our machines. And this is also looking a little bit bigger. It's 180? Yep, 180, 180 by 180 by 180. So it's expanded by about 12 millimeters in the X and Y motion of our standard Mini 2 machine. Awesome, and is this gonna be production soon or just like a test bed or will be a thing yep. soon? So this is the first time the public has seen it. Once we develop marketing and everything, it'll be a launch. So okay. within the next couple months, you'll start seeing this on our website, ready to go. Okay, awesome. Yep. It's a Rep Rap Fest. We have chocolate again. We're here with Ellie, hey. Coco Press. So we are, you can buy these now. We're you finally can. there. It's so actually available. You can put a deposit down. It's a $100 deposit. And then the remaining $13.99 will be due when it ships this fall. So this is very close to the unit we saw at East Coast Rep Rep Yes. Fest, but it's, it's had a few tweaks. So has anything major changed or? Nothing major. The biggest thing is just a couple of uh, changes in the extruder to make it easier to assemble and to make sure that the motor, the heat of the motor doesn't creep down into the chocolate. So our motor is actually warmer than we're heating the chocolate up to. So we had to put a little bit of a thermal break in there. Awesome. So 
These are going to be available. You can pre-order them now. When will they be shipping? Uh, ideally September. September, and they're yep. going to be kits, right? So you're going to have to build one. Yep, it's going to be a Voron-style kit. People will be able to print their own parts and... Uh, Fully That'll illustrated and manual. Fully all illustrated um, by people on the Voron team. You know, we've been working pretty closely with RCF, the founder of the Voron project, and uh, it's just cool that it's finally here. It's finally. I know we've we've been following and, Murph, uh, Earth, and now we're we're finally here. So it's pretty amazing, and so, we do a 27 minute speed benchy out of chocolate. So this is a benchy in 27 minutes in chocolate, no active cooling. So this is all coming down to the type of chocolate you're using that allows you to to do this, right? So. So this is how you load, right? So you're gonna be selling the chocolate as well? Yep, so we'll be selling the chocolate cores, but I definitely wanna note that it's not a closed system. People can put whatever chocolate they want in here as long as they can make it air bubble free and find the temperatures. Okay. If they have a colder room, it might work better for most other chocolates, um, but it's not a closed system. Okay, so there is a specific chocolate that is designed to work with this, but anything that you are willing to try, you can try. And at, at worst case scenario, you're just gonna have to clean some ch molten chocolate out yeah, of here. which is pretty easy. The parts come apart. Um, anything that the chocolate touches can be removed without any tools and uh, washed in the sink. Awesome. If you're interested in the printer, you can go to cocopress.com and learn more. Email us if you have any questions and uh, reserve a printer today. Awesome. My pre-order is in. I cannot wait to build one of these. And uh, the wife's very happy about this printer purchase. I'll admit. It's going to be so fun. It's, it's going to so I legit stream. can't wait. It's going to be so good. So we have Bill here from 3D Chameleon and a couple new products. Well, not new, but adjusted for a new printer. So what, what do we have here? So we have the 3D Chameleon installed on the Bamboo Labs. Uh, in this case, the X1C Carbon? I don't know. It's X1 Carbon. X1 Carbon, okay. So yeah, so this is the plain stock 3D Chameleon, but we did make one minor change uh, to the firmware, and that is to give uh, what we call Mode 3. Mode 3 allows a random distance to load and unload. So in this particular installation, it's in my preferred way. Uh, I have the Y adapter right at the hot end. But all those Voron guys, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> all those Voron guys say, well, there's a lot of weight to add to that. Um, I would rather have it outside. So I did exactly that. You can actually have it attached here, or you can attach it to the outside of the machine. Uh, and that required a different firmware in the Chameleon. So that's really the only change we made. Okay. So the, so the thing is with the bamboo, for those that don't know, uh, the, the firmware is locked down. You, you can't modify anything on this machine. So most traditional multi-material units are not compatible. However, the Chameleon doesn't talk to the printer really. Yeah, it, it, it really doesn't talk to the printer at all. Uh, what happens is we use custom tool change G-code that commands something to move and hit our switch. And in this case, we're just moving the hot end so in this case, if you look carefully, uh, red is the filament that's loaded, and green is up here. So I'll tell it to switch to green, and I'm just going to use the hot end to touch the switch. That'll command us for three pulses, uh, and then that'll tell it to unload one and load three. So I gotta, I gotta touch it so I can feel the switches. There we go. And now it's unloading the red, and oh, yeah, you can green. kind of see it. Yeah, you yeah, can see and it. And now it's loading the green. That's loading the green. So it's basically doing the equivalent of somebody sitting there and just pulling out the filament and putting in a new one, but automatically with your system here. Yes. Yeah. So this allows you to just plug it in. The G code and the sliced file handles it all, and the yep. printer doesn't know anything else. It has else. no concept that it's changing colors at all. Awesome. <laughs> so now what's really cool about this over, say, the AMS, um, the AMS, uh, everybody knows they love it, uh, especially because it can work with any spool. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, this yep. can work with any spool. Yeah, you can Number just one thing, rep right? box or exactly. whatever you want to use. Any spool holder, whatever. Number two, it's $150 cheaper, $199. Um, no. Yes, sir, $199. And number three, it's a lot faster. The reason it's faster is we're moving the filament a total of 10 inches. Yeah. Versus the, all the way the out AMS, and up to the AMS. All the way out and back to the AMS and then back in. And, and the purge script works the same, so it still does purge the purge strategy, and everything. The filament cutter, 100% of it's still used. Awesome. So, so this yeah, allows you to do multi material cheaper than the, the native system with that's right. technically more spool compatibility. Yep. 
Awesome. And, and you can go up to any number of colors that you want as well. So, so you can do more than four? Yes, you can do up to, uh, actually it's unlimited now. The latest firmware with the new Mode 3 specifically for this allows an N number of filaments. So you just daisy chain you this into another splitter. It. That's it, yep, exactly. Oh. oh, awesome. Now, here's the cool thing. I stole from Bamboo Labs. Uh -oh. They have this filament cutter. And when I bought the first one, I analyzed this machine very carefully. I looked at LiDAR, I looked at their electronics, which are horrible design, but everything else looks really wonderful on this. Their cutter is cutting the filament right at the hot end. Best place in the world to cut it. You don't have to deal with filament. Tip shape, you don't have to do any of that. That's the number one problem of any color change. Yeah, you get that the, the bulb on the end of the filament, it gets stuck, it jams. That's right. So here's the solution, the 3D Clippy. Completely open source filament cutter that attaches to any printer. And it, it's just mechanically actuated, so it's again, just mechanically actuated, code. yep, just like this. You put that there, you move this over to the side, it cuts it, you move it back to reset it, uh, and now you've got the exact same uh, reliability increase that they got. And you can put this on any printer. This really. works on any printer. We've got designs out there published for the uh, Sovol SV06, the Creality Under Series, several variants of that. Uh, Prusa, the Prusa Mini. Um, so, so if you so if you really wanted to get into multi-material real cheap, you can get like an SV06. Yep. Throw this on it, and you're off to the races. Yep. Now oh. this is something that you print yourself, but the cool thing is, is in the 3D Chameleon kits, we include all the the hardware that you need to run it. Oh, awesome! So. You just print whatever adapter you need and you're yep. good to go. Yep. On the printer you probably already yep. have. It even comes with the uh, the disposable <laughs> blades that we use inside of here. So just off the shelf parts. Yep. Awesome. Oh, that is cool. Thank you, Bill. Yep. And that's 3D Chameleon. 3dchameleon.com. Yep.